Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Be Yourself. This is Dr. Rajni Sharma and today I am going to deal with glycogenation. In my last video I have discussed about the endoplasmic reticulum, how protein get translocated into the endoplasmic reticulum for the proper transportation as well as the proper binding and now this time I will discuss about the glycogenation which takes place in endoplasmic reticulum. In the biological term, we relate the glycogenation means that uh, the addition of glycans to the proteins, lipids or other organic molecules with the help of enzymes. And basically there are two types of glycolysis, N-linked and O-linked. In case of N-linked uh, -link glycogenation, uh, glycans are added to the nitrogen of asparagine or arginine side chain. While in the O-linked glycans, it is attached to the hydroxyl oxygen or the serine, threonine, tyrosine, hydroxylysine or hydroxyproline side chain or to the oxygen or lipids such as ceramide. The, and one more thing which is required in ending glycogenation is the dolichol phosphate. Uh, let's first discuss about the ending glycogenation which take over the endoplasmic reticulum as there is the need of a dolichol phosphate and over this First of all, two molecules of N acetyl glucosamine is added, followed by the nine monomer, uh, sorry, uh, nine mannose subunits of, uh, uh, sorry, mannose uh, sugar, followed by three glucose sugar. After that, it is transferred to the N terminal of the asparagine. If we look the newly synthesized protein, we will come to know that there is a certain sequence known as, uh, which is the asparagine or arsenine followed by any amino acid, serine or threonine. Uh, in that, this 14 sugar residues get transferred over this protein. After that, the uh, protein get internalized, but before that, the glucose residues get broken down. But not all at a time, all the three glucose residues get broken down, rather one glucose residues are remain there for the recognition of calnexin protein. So after this, it gets internalized and it will be recognized by the calnexin protein, uh, which help in the proper binding of the protein. After that, it will help in the proper binding of the protein. But if the uh, protein is not get binded, it the process get repeated. But uh, if the protein is in the proper conformation or in proper binding form, then it will transport it to the Golgi body for the further glycogenation process. Uh, if it is not, then it is then uh, further uh, one glucose residue is again added with the help of UDP uh, glucosal transferase, and the process of again binding with the calnexin and again checking out the proper folding of the protein is carried out but if uh, it is found that it is even it is difficult for the proper binding of the protein then what happen all the mannose residues will be uh, removed and the protein is transported to the cytosol for the ubiquitinations but this is not the end of the process of the glycolysis whether the end link glycogenation which was in the endoplasmic reticulum is now carried out to the Golgi body where the further process of glycogenation will carried out. For that, first of all, four mannose sugar is removed and it is followed by the addition of one and acetyl glucosamine. After that, two additional mannose will be uh, removed and fucose and N acetyl to N acetyl glucosamine. This is the red is the fucose group and uh, this uh, brown one is uh, is N acetyl glucosamine residues get added. After that, three uh, galactose residues is added. The green, uh, through the green color, I have I have represented the galactose residue. Then uh, three salicylic as residues are added. Now this is the end of the end link oligosaccharides in Golgi body. But what is the significance of this glycogenation? Actually, it provides a certain marker for the transportation of the protein and also for the functions of the protein. Uh, for example, uh, yes, and uh, there are certain enzymes are, to, uh, are, uh, are there for the uh, glycogenation process like glycosyl transferase is used in the addition of sugar residues in anilin glycogenation whereas glycoside is used for the removal of sugar residues. 
yes i am talking about the uh, about the this and link glycogenation is used as the or the glycogenation process is used for the so to add the certain marker to the protein so uh, for example is here the protein which has to be targeted for the lysosomes what happened in golgi body instead of the removal of the four mano sugar uh, six mano sugar get phosphorylated with the help of uh, anester glucosamine then uh, glucosamine get anester glucosamine get removed and now this mannose get phosphorylated the now this get the signals that this protein will is specific for the lysosomal so it, now this time it will be transported to the uh, lysosomes not to any other cells so these are the certain mechanism how glycogenation takes place and what is the specific function of the glycogenation now uh, all these are about the rough endoplasmic reticulum now what is about the smooth endoplasmic reticulum actually uh, is specialized in the synthesis of glycerol phospholipids from cytosolic precursors phospholipid synthesized is ser or smooth endoplasmic reticulum are phosphatidic acid diacylglycerol phosphatidylcholine phosphatidylanositol phosphatidylethylamine and phosphatidylserine apart from this it is also abundant in uh, liver and it is involved in the metabolization of lipid soluble compounds uh, one thing i have discussed that all the phospholipids get synthesized on uh, from the cytosolic precursor on the cytosolic side of the endoplasmic reticulum but what uh, if uh, it all the phospholipids will be synthesized on the cytosolic side then the luminal side will not have any phospholipids but there is and it is in the proportionate form then how this is possible actually there is an enzyme known as flipase which flip the required uh, phosphatidyl uh, or phospholipids to uh, from the cytosolic side to the luminal side for example phosphatidyl anositol is exclusively found in the cytos uh, sorry luminal side but it is synthesized on the cytosolic side so, so such phospholipids are uh, flipped with the help of enzyme flipase so all this is in my video in my upcoming videos i am going to discuss about the important questions related with the endoplasmic reticulum both with the smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum so don't forget to subscribe my channel till then goodbye and have a nice day